Major Slack videos. Well, yeah, the name is Slack. Thanks for coming back. Let's walk through some more Elden Ring. And in this video, we're going to begin the Rani quest line, which kicks off with the Caria Manor, which is right here. This big castle right here. Alright, I get your game face on. This, is, this ain't gonna be no walk in the park. But you're rolling with the slackster, and I've got you all ready for the land of the hand, which is right here. Okay, this is the Carrion Manor. Is it Carrion Manor or Carrion Manor? I believe it's Carrion Manor. Anyways, this whole outer courtyard here is the land of the hand. You could conceivably just speed run in and get to this location here and go up and get to the site of grace there. But you're leaving a lot of money on the table because all these hands, these finger creepers, I believe they're officially known as, uh, most of them drop somber smithing stones too, which sell for 400 a pop. So uh, I typically come out with upwards of 20 somber smithing stones too, of course, which is way in excess of what you're going to need to upgrade any unique weapons. So usually you just sell them all off and that's like seven or 8,000 runes right there. Right there, that's a boss fight right there. So yeah, it's worth your while to go through this whole area and wipe out all the hands and get all the other stuff that is in that area. Okay, so that's the plan. Let's do it. First thing we're gonna do is run up the right side along the cliff on the right side because that's the easiest way to avoid all the, the magic rain storm that they're going to be raining down on you. They just stick to the right side of the cliff like we did before and we're going to the right edge of the castle. And stick right to the cliff side. Down here. And now you're going to go straight for this tower right here, parapet or tower, as they call it, parapet, right here, and then run along the wall. This is the easiest way to avoid all that magic green stuff. There you go, no damage run. All right, that's how to do that. And you got a set of grace right here. And this is it. I've gotten you ready. I'll show you my loadout. We've got the Flame Art Morning Star. Watch the previous video for more information on how I put this together. And I believe I'm going to swap this out for the Staff of Loss. And these are the four talismans I have Blessed Dew, Ritual Sword, Taker's Cameo, and Fire Scorpion. And we got Lutel. Lutel's going to help out a lot. And I think I'm going to go with 10 and 3 with Flask. If you're feeling nervous, go with 9 and 4, or even 8 and 5, but no no less than 8, because you're going to be using a lot of Magicka. Right? And... Magicka, yeah. A lot of FP. And as far as spells, it's going to empty it all out. I'm only going to go with 3 spells, just to keep it nice and simple. There's no point in having a ton of spells, and just have to cycle through them to find the right one when you're only going to use 3. And those 3 are... Night Comet. Magma Shot, which is going to be your bread and butter. You're going to be using this one mostly, okay? And finally, um... Hmm. It's pretty much just those two. This might be useful. Yeah, Cannon of Haima. That's it. There's no point in, like, in saying overloading your spell roll if you're not going to use them and just going to, you know, burden yourself with having to cycle through all the spells to find the right one. Yep, yeah, so just those three. Night Comet, Magma Shot, and Cannon of Haima. Maybe Great Glint's don't share, but no, I don't think so. No, just those three. That's it. Alright, so, here's the deal. Little hands you can wipe out with a magma shot. 
instant kill. The big hands, um, magma shot, and then flame of the red mates. Those two mess it right up. The first one will put it on its back, it'll start flopping it around, and the second one will finish it off. It just messes it right up. Oh yeah, here's another thing. Um, let's take that out and load up on the fire pots. Make as many fire pots as you can. And I think I have some other pots. Just gonna stash them, free up all my cracked pots. Okay, those can go in. These would be useful. And I've got nine fire pots and two of these red main fire pots, and I think it can make even more powerful fire pots. Uh, giant fire pot or something like that. Anyways, load those up. Those are going to be very useful. I'm going to show you how later on. Let's start with these. Crystal darts. These are sometimes useful. This we're not going to use. Let me just throw some uh, rainbow stones in there and that's it. Okay, we're ready to go. Okay, so as soon as you go in, you can cast Carry a Manor, that's what it's called. You can cast Lutel. Get her out right away. Okay. There you go. Refill. And let me just lay down a couple of uh, rainbow stones here. That may have been a waste because it is late day. You want to start in midday or morning because it gets pretty dark here. Let's start at noon. Probably won't finish till late day, but uh, yeah. Oh wow, the rainbow stones survive waiting. Yeah, I never knew that. Okay. Okay, great. Lutel out to go. Lutel rocks. I'm going to refill right away. Right? Eyes all around. Use your telescope all the time. Scan the ground. These guys have a way of like... I'm going to show you how they ambush you. Okay, there's a big hand right up on the wall here. There's one over there. There's one right there. This one always drops in on you. Let's use a little night comment. That's all she wrote. And there's our first Sombra Smithing Stone too. We're off to the races. Okay, we're gonna work our way around the perimeter counterclockwise. Safest thing to do. Walk softly, carry a big stick. Kill everything that moves. Glintstone Craftsman Cookbook 6, I believe, will allow you to make freezing pots. Pretty sure. Yeah, I believe that's what we just acquired. Okay. Go get him, we tell. I love it. And there's like these little traps here. Some of the smithing stone three. Okay, this is gonna place us above a couple a big hand. Right there. Um, he tends to get out of hand. Huh. I'm dead. Usually I like to finish it off with uh, a few night comets. Just to make sure he doesn't get out of hand. <laughs> and uh, that should be it. So let's switch back over to the magma shot. Jump on down. And cook these guys up. Nice. Yep, hands hate fire. 
the lovely tails like I'm making sure this finished they're finished off um, I should have brought it along with the rock sling to kill that teardrop scarab I think I'm gonna do it in with uh, night comet oh there we go that works carrying piercer piercer rather you want that Okay, watch the walls, people. Watch the walls. Okay, ice crest shield. Okay, it's time to start scanning the ground with your telescope. You're looking for these, like, fingernails sticking up out of the ground, which indicates a hand getting ready to ambush you. There's one right there. See? There's some hands getting ready to ambush you. Now, what you can do, even though you can't target them at this point, you can just free aim a fire pot at them. Okay, so just kind of use your character's head to aim and just throw a fire pot. Target and then flame. There you go. Let's have to do that. There's another one right there. See that? They just love to wait and ambush you. See, they're, like, they're waiting. It's like a trap. You step in the trap and they grab you and, you know? This one's gonna free aim a fire pot. And that's all she wrote. Little ones you could instantly kill. The big ones you're gonna have to follow up with uh, magma shot and possibly flame of the red mains. Okay. Watch the walls, people. Watch the walls. Okay, scan the ground. There's another one right there. Whoop, watch it now. little guy right there. Okay. Once you go through that archway there, you're gonna lose Lutel. So don't go there yet. We're gonna clear out everything else and then we're gonna go through that archway there. Just let Lutel take care of it. Yeah, she can handle her own. She can take care of her business. Okay, it's like I said, don't go through that archway yet. Watch the ground, watch the walls. There's one right there. I'm going to give a charge to tackle. There's another one right there. See that? That's a big one. Let's whip a fire pot at him. <laughs> Kitchen sink. Kitchen sink the mothers. I'll give them a chance because once they start mangling you, it's like they can stun lock you. They grab you, they mangle you, they throw you down. By the time you get up, they grab you again. Here's the little guy. I'm wondering if I can charge attack him. Just get close and charge attack. 
Thanks a lot, Mr. Pumblefingers. <laughs> he tells like, okay, Mr. Pumblefingers, I got this. There's no, there's a big one right there. See that? That's a big one. Okay, kitchen sink time. She rocks it. She hasn't taken any damage yet. You rock, Lutel. Nice. Even the little ones give up a somber smithing stone, too. There's one right there. It's probably a... Uh, Okay. Let's see if we can suck her to jump down. Come on. Uh oh. I lost the tail. I went past the line. Yeah, I say I went past the, the archway. Um, my bad. It looks like we're all by our lonesome now. There's a big one right there. Haha. <laughs> I love doing that. This kitchen sink of fuckers. Hey, don't give me a chance. Okay, let me make some more uh, fire pots. Lost the walls. Uh oh. <laughs> nice, eh? Just messes them right up. That combo there. Magma shot, follow up with the flame of the red mains. Cook them right up. Doesn't give them a chance either. Okay, so I'm just going right all the way around the perimeter to make sure we got everything. There's a guy right there. Creepy crawly over there. Watch it now. Watch it. I see a big one over there. There's one right here. Yeah, that's what I was trying to do before. Just like do a charge attack, get close to a charge attack. There's a big one. Bugger off. Swing and a miss. You should see me. I'm just like, I'm sweating buckets right now. Mind you, it's like... We're in the middle of a heat wave, but um, I'm <laughs> just like, because <laughs> I lost the tail again, handling it's all on my own. I feel pretty confident, but uh, it's always nice to have the as a backup. I can't call her again. 
So might as well take her out of the roll. Here's the big one right there. That's immensely satisfying, eh? Watch them roll around like that. Okay, so we're coming back to the beginning. Alright, so there's my two rainbow stones. We're back at the beginning. Let's work the middle. See some activity over there. Here's a big one. Um. There we go. Uh oh shit, there's two big ones. Oh, they're both coming at me. This is fucked up. This is serious. Let's go where they can't go. Pardon my French. Okay, now that we got it under control, let's get some Night Comet. Uh oh, watch it now. There's the other one. Another thing about this area it gives you no enemy group refills whatsoever. Not one. So you're you know you're running on what you started with with regards to flash flash charges and whatnot. Just wanna grab these blood roses here. It's getting dark. It's getting finger creepy. They're all over the place. They're all over the place, Sarge. I can see them give me the finger. Oh, three smithing stones too. How about that?
Right. There's one right there. They're real sneaky buggers. I don't think so. I hate their death animation, eh? Because it's so close to the same animation they use to kind of like creepy crawly towards you. So you're always looking at it going, is it dying? Or is it like about to rush me? Kind of thing, you know? Developers obviously did that on purpose. Just to keep everybody shitting their pants. <laughs> There's one right there. Oh shit, wrong way. There's another one. And another one. Alright, time to load up on... The fire pods. Here we go. Watch it now. There's a big one right there. Uh oh. Watch it, watch it. Well, I over. Die! Die! I gobbled down two flasks in a panic. So I'm on my last flask now. I think we're getting right back to near the spot where we lost Lutel. Okay, we gotta go up those stairs there. There's the archway. I think we pretty much covered everything. There's a the little one right there. It's the only thing about the magma shot, the short range. Big one right there. Shit. That's it. I'm running on empty. Okay, I think it's time to bring it on home. Just have to go up those stairs there. This area is pretty clear. Whew. Okay, so how do we do? 22. That's exactly what I had before on in practice runs, so I figure I got them all. Yeah, check that out. 22 somber smithing stones too. Yeah, so obviously you're not going to use them all. So that's a great source of income. Wiping out all those hands. Definitely. Hey, what do you got to say? Oh, another one of these. Uh, over here we go. Lady Rani, we have long awaited you. I pray for your house's swift revival. May the full moon shine upon Caria. 
Yeah, that's nice. Anything else to say? Same thing. Okay. Alright. And the side of grace is just up here. And we made it. <laughs> Boya! My name is Major Slack and I approve this video. If you do too, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my, ch subscribe to my channel, post a comment, stuff like that there, and I'll see you next time for some more Elden Ring. Hey guys, real walkthroughs like these are an endangered species here on YouTube. For a complete lowdown on the YouTube video game walkthrough scene, check out my Patreon page and please consider making a donation to yours truly, Major Slack, to help keep real walkthroughs alive on YouTube. You can donate as little as $1. That's $1. That's all. That's all it takes. All right. Thanks a lot. Really appreciate it.